magic flow is a story about darkness turning to light. This production is all about the fantasy, the magic. Mozart's score takes you into such amazing places that you suspend all disbelief. You can get lost in this beautiful music. It's a feast for the eyes. It's absolutely beautiful sets, beautiful costumes. It's just a classic masterpiece. On the surface, it's a fairy tale. And like all good fairy tales, it is mysterious. The magic flow opens right in the middle of the action. Termino, who's, the, who's a prince, is being chased in the forest by a huge serpent and is rescued by three mysterious ladies. They're sent out to do all the dirty work of the Queen of the Night and make sure that her daughter Pamina is rescued from Sir Astro. I think that Mozart has really catch the mood of each character. The Queen of the Night is a woman of power. She is full of um, anger. She's not happy. She's had her daughter taken away from her. She wants her back. Uh, she wants power and she wants to beat Sir Astro. I'm like the, the best person in this. I, I repre represent the good in this piece. Because you have these archetypes, you know, good and bad. Then you have a Papageno who's really like a normal person. Papageno is the bird catcher. He's a, a man of nature, a natural man. You get the feeling that Papageno would be happy to sing his little song at the beginning, collect his bird and then leave. He gets involved very unwillingly and goes to Zarastro's castle with Tomino. I think Tomino is a boy who, who wants to become a man and at the end becomes a man. And he's on his quest, on his journey, and at the end, Pamina is leading him. Pamina goes through all the same trials as Tamino does. She's obviously a real romantic and idealist and falls in love with Tamino and uh, goes through a whole roller coaster of emotions. And she always has these little anecdotes throughout the opera about what good values are. I think she's the wise, the wise words of wisdom throughout the, throughout the craziness of the piece. Terrific. Then, let's just look at this. Sag mir, guter Freund. Ah, yeah, okay, okay. So it's like, listen, you're going to help me. Yeah. Magic flute is, a, is a, what they call a Singspiel. A Singspiel, in a sense, is quite close to, to a, a musical. It's got song in it and dialogue. Freund, du hast viel gewagt. Wenn Sarastro, wie spät ist das? Fast Abend. I really enjoy the chance to use my spoken voice on stage because you can, you can show a different side of yourself. Ein Mensch wie du. Und wenn ich dich nun fragte, wer du bist. My German is not fluent, and it's not particularly idiomatic, but no matter how badly I mangle the language, none of my German-speaking colleagues has ever uh, burst out laughing. We're working very much as a team. It's a joy to work with Julia, who's so interested in the drama. We've got such a wonderful, hard-working and intelligent cast. From the first day when we started the rehearsal, somehow there was this magic. I think what is magical in this Zauberflöte is that it's simple and so mysterious that each time you listen to it, you can find something new to discover. I think that the real strength of this production is its beauty and the way it inspires your own imagination. I think that's the key to all good theatre. The wonder of Mozart is that he creates the most beautiful music out of simple lines. I think each number is a little jewel for itself. Each number is brilliant. You never get tired of it, and the world has not got tired of it, and, and I can't imagine it ever will. Thank you.